Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Kid Good at Open Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. Now, in one of my uh, multiplayer parks, I actually made a car ride where, for a little part of the track, uh, three, uh, three separate cars actually used the same track for a while. So basically, the three uh, tracks merged and then later they unmerged. And some people asked me how I did that and they really wanted me to make a video about that. So that's uh, what I will show you in this video. Now before we continue, uh, the method that I will show you uh, will only work for rides that normally don't have, to have sprites for banked track. So for example car rides cannot have banked track or uh, let's see some other rides. Uh, for example, uh, the miniature railway or monorail, they don't have uh, banked sprites, so they, these will also work well. Or uh, the steeplechase would also work well. These water rides, they would also work well. So yeah, there's still a lot of rides you can use this for, but only if they don't have banked sprites. So, um, let's just say we want these three uh, car rides to all use this red track in the middle just for a little bit and then later we'll unmerge them again so to start let's uh, close these rides now I will remove this uh, a bit of these two tracks on the side I will do the same for the yellow track okay Now, um, we'll need to go to cheats, as usual in these Kit Good videos, and uh, enable the allow arbitrary ride type changes. And now we'll change it to a ride type that has banked track. So let's do the corkscrew roller coaster. And we'll just start building. Uh, we'll bank our track here. We'll make a curve. And we'll keep going banked like this and here we go back to the original track we'll do the same for the blue car ride let's change to a corkscrew roller coaster we'll bank the track here and we'll keep going banked the bank is actually opposite to the bank of the yellow coaster the yellow car ride I mean you can actually see that here. And the reason I bank this track is because um, because they're banked, they're actually a different right uh, track piece than the normal track. And because of that, the tracks actually won't merge, and the cars will keep going on their uh, on the track which they are going on. Because they don't have sprites for banked track, um, the cars will just look normal. And that's why it will all look like they are all using the, the red track. So let's change the back to car rides now. You will see the banked uh, parts become invisible. And if we test them now, they should all start using the middle track. There we go. Now there's no collision uh, detection between these different cars, so they may actually uh, start, uh, yeah, moving into each other at some point. Uh, especially when you have uh, guests in your cars, the speed is not always consistent. So if you're worried about that, you can always put a chain lift on the, on all these tracks. You cannot use the allow chain lifts on all track pieces cheat and then set them to a certain speed and then you always know that they're going at the same speed in this track and then that should make it more uh, consistent on how, how far they are away from each other um, of course now there's uh, a few track pieces missing because they were made invisible uh, you can always just uh, just make an extra car ride and just uh, fill in the remaining pieces like that. Also note that uh, 
the disable clearance checks uh, sheet is on. So that's why we are able to build these tracks into each other. So yeah, you can just uh, fill up their uh, missing track like this and it will look like they are uh, merged together. Okay, um, this is not the only uh, way you can use this. Uh, one very useful application of this method is, uh, for example, if you want to have a, a railway that at some point does a little loop and then continues along the original track, you can do this the same way. So here we have the miniature railway. I already built a part of this. so. Here's the station, we want it to go straight here and turn around here and then pass through the station, do a little turn around here and then come back to the original station. So yeah, that's also easy to do. Again, let's change it to a ride type which has banked uh, track. Um, so here we just start banking it and we just keep building like this. I will fast forward the game now the <laughs> game now a bit. And here we arrive at the original track again. So let's change it back to a miniature railway now. Uh, okay. And now it will just uh, follow this track. Here it does a turnaround. And now it will look like it's on the original track again. Well, it's actually on the bank track. But since it doesn't have sp sprites for bank track, it will just look normal. And here it will do the turnaround and then it will arrive at the station again. Now you can actually have uh, multiple trains on this track. They won't actually collide uh, if they touch. I don't know why that is. But uh, for some other rides they may actually collide if you... Uh, if they touch on the merge track, so you should be careful with that. But yeah, for these kinds of uh, rides, it usually looks uh, best to just use one train, just to prevent any chance of uh, the trains moving through each other, which uh, would really look silly. Now, again, here there's some uh, track pieces missing, so you can just uh, make an make an extra your railway track and just fill up the missing pieces. Be careful that you don't actually uh, merge the track here. Because then uh, you may get weird uh, situations. Alright, that was it for this tutorial. Uh, I hope this was uh, useful uh, for you. And uh, I hope to see you again in the next one. See you later. <laughs>